if you're buying into the idea of did, Santa Claus did you as watch a whole, the Santa Claus uh, HBO Santa Claus Camp HBO documentary. What's that? Yeah, so there's a Santa Claus Camp. And some, mm-hmm. They shot a uh, maybe it's an Amazon doc. It's not very good, but they they shot a documentary about um, this camp to train Santa Clauses, and it's in New England somewhere. And so it's all these New England Santas. Like they're mall like, Santas. They're like, yeah, they're like, yeah, I love being fucking Santa Claus. It's <laughs> like, I love, uh, you know, seeing the fucking look on the kids' faces <laughs> when they, uh, you know, they sit up there on your knee and, you know, they couldn't be any fucking happier. Yeah, there you <laughs> so I'm thinking about trying to bring on people who can, so you can offer a Santas who aren't kind of the cookie cutter uh, white, 65 years old, fat. Now, some clients will disagree because <laughs> they have a very specific thing they want in their Santa. But it's these old white guys. Mm-hmm. And then so in the documentary, it's like they're sending, they have a mentally disabled Santa Claus, like a guy with a, like some sort of, I think he might have spina bifida, which I thought mm-hmm. was just a physical disability, but he has like some kind of intellectual disability. Uh-huh. So he goes to the camp and his mom brings him there. Hi, John, pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave. I'm one of your instructors. I've been Santa for six years. Awesome, awesome. Oh, the ch- I thought you were talking about a Santa. Yeah, the kid is a Santa. Well, he's a grown man, but he's you know. Uh, oh, but his grown mom, like, is a his grown adult, Santa. M- he, well, he's a grown man who he's taking. He's him. obsessed yeah. with Santa Claus. Yeah, he goes to the Santa Claus camp. His story is the only nice one because then they have a black Santa Claus from Arkansas, uh-huh. and he's just he loves Deep Santa. South. He loves Santa. He puts Santa, black Santa stuff up in his eyes. Arkansas, so he gets like uh, he gets a racist letter, and he brings it to the camp and oh, he shows no. him. And they burn it, but then it's like these old white guys that are just terrified of saying the wrong thing. <laughs> My mom's a lesbian, so Santa was a black lesbian woman for me. Uh, okay. Does Santa have a diversity problem? Uh, boy, that is a good question. Why, why is he predominantly white? Um, uh-huh. You know, because like, first of all, they're <laughs> like you remove these other minorities, <laughs> yeah. and you would say, okay, these are grown men that think they're Santa Claus. Right. That's a, not necessarily an yeah, intellectual a disability, yeah. but yeah. you would feel like, oh, I have to be delicate around this simpleton. Yes. you know what I mean. Right. But uh, uh, then they also have a trans <laughs> Santa. And the Ooh. trans Santa has like a, a lesbian girlfriend. It's now we're talking. It, I think it's oh an FTM God. trans Santa. Yeah. Okay. I'm trans Santa. Smile. Um, but they go to the camp and yeah. they're just like, they're lecturing the fucking other Santa Claus and talking about like, she's like, I was about to go off when he said <laughs> M- Mrs. Claus doesn't have a job or something. I don't, you know. I don't. My view is Mrs. Claus is Santa's wife. Um, she takes care of him like any good wife, you know? I'm sorry. They're... I'm Dr. Claus. Like, I am not the wife. Like, I have my PhD. You're not going to call me Mrs. Claus. I'm Dr. Claus. But um, I don't even know why I brought it up. Yeah, the, the, the intellectually disabled man, they, they, he eventually gets to participate in a Christmas parade and oh. he's over the moon about it. So it's, that part's nice. That sounds nice. The trans Santa ends up going, like, doing some event at a church. Oh, no. And they could not be any more uncomfortable around the kids. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, My name's Allie. Allie? Pronouns? Uh, They them. They them. Hi. I'm Trans Santa. The kid is not even anywhere close to them. Yeah. And the kid is just saying to the Trans Santa, like, thank you for so much for doing this because it means a lot for representation. At a church, what is it? Is it like an Episcopalian church? It's like a woke church. church. Like a woke church. And the yeah. Proud Boys are there protesting. Or something. Oh, yeah. God. Well, it sounds like a tu- it sounds like a Tucker story. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. but th- the kids there, and it's like this isn't like a Santa event, and it's not because you're trans; it's because you hate children. Like this has nothing to do. Like it's just so the kids sitting there, and they're like, "Yeah, thank you so much for." being like first of all they're not children so they're like 13 like 12 or 13 or something okay. like if you I, I i find it hard to believe that you have you're able to like grasp the concept of gender and it being something fluid mm-hmm. and you also believe in santa claus <laughs> you know what i mean it happens <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like these children believe they're meeting santa claus uh-huh. they're just like do, do, doing it for this like fucking like tumbler moment and then the trans yeah. Santa Claus is like, yeah, thank you so much for saying that. 
It's very empowering being in your presence. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Merry Christmas. That's right. It. That's so the they're like, the conceit is that they know it's a fake Santa. Yeah. So why would they even go see Santa? I have no idea. That's it's what I, so yeah. stupid. I just don't understand anything anymore. Yeah. Bunch of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you can't say anything about it because then people think you're protesting the idea of a trans person wanting to be Santa Claus. No, anymore. I think that they... Which, should, that's fine. Should, fine. Should, do it. Yeah. Go ahead. Be trans... Be ju- whoever the fuck you want and go yeah. do it. But the, the main thing yeah. is that you should be, like, trying to f- lie to a child and make them think you're... <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to be acting myth- like you're the real Santa. You're yeah. a mythical creature yeah. that brings yeah. presents to them. You're a Chuck E. Cheese mm-hmm. character. Right. You know, it's like right. if they wouldn't do trans Chuck E. Cheese and they're <sighs> like, well, I'm they're not doing it. Well, they I'm, not, I'm not wearing the know? mouse costume. They're doing it. They're in the costume. They could do it. Yeah, they could yeah. be in there, but yeah. you wouldn't. They're like, oh, I'm not wearing the costume. I'm coming out. It's just me. Yeah. I'm holding a piece of cheese. And then I talked to a 13 year old like, about did fucking the, gender <laughs> affirmation. Like, did he not? What did he look like as Santa? Oh, he looked the, good. The suit on, otherwise the... Oh, he I looked can't good. Remember. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he, he looked, looked, he he looked, looked good. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he looked good. This is a smoke. Oh, he's an absolute smoke. <laughs> mm. You meet people and learn from their experiences. It's like a big family. Santa Society is like a brotherhood. We quite often call ourselves the brothers in red. Yeah, but I mean, you watch it and you think there's going to be some moment where these people find some like commonality in being Santa Claus, mm-hmm. and it just never happens. What's the crux of the doc? Like it's at just, the end, like, what, are what they do you walk away to with? Be, I don't know. I think this. Uh, th- uh, if I'm, I'm. A what doc- did you walk away with? If, like? Nothing. Okay. Uh, other than good for uh, uh, Finn, the disabled Santa Claus. Yeah. It could have just been that. I don't know why they had all this other shit in there. There are definitely a few Santas that are uncomfortable with the Santa of color or in general with me being here. But um, it's it's not a new experience to me because I've gone through it all my life. Yeah, you know, you, you expect that it's like, oh, these people are different. But through the power of Santa, they come together and it's like... right. Sort of the, the the black guy seems out to lunch the whole time. I mean, he's <laughs> like, I don't know what he's doing there. They barely show him. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then it's mostly the trans lady and her girlfriend getting mad at the Santa Clauses for like holding a door for the girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, it's just these minor fucking... At yeah. one point, the fucking the trans Santa Claus, like not the trans Santa, the, one of the old white guys, he goes up to the black guy and he's like... I've, I've never had the uh, interaction with a Santa Claus in a classroom that was black before. I'd be glad if you could give me any hints. Yeah, I just wanted to... I forget what he says, but it's the most benign fucking innocuous thing in the world. You know, it's mm-hmm. like, you know, it's, I'm glad you're here because, you know, <laughs> it's like to experience something different. He's yeah. like, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm like, you know, they just like, yeah, they're uh-huh. just terrified. They're just, the yeah, time. they're just so nervous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So funny. Yeah, but it's also like, what's, what's going to happen? You're going to get fired from being Santa Claus? There's five of you. Yeah, also they're paying... To yeah. be there, yeah. At a camp. Well, so it's well, yeah. I guess being a Santa is one of the most expendable jobs. Mm. You can get it's seasonal. Th- well, it's not only is it seasonal, but it's so easy to get yeah. cut. That was my problem with it. It's mm. lacking the magic of Santa. Yeah, but it's also just so lacking magical. the magic of regular human connection. Yeah, it doesn't right. seem to exist. Like the entire thing, you watch it, and it looks like online interactions between people that fail to have any kind of even just basic connection with each other. Yeah. There's right. there's no actual real emotion in the thing. Yeah. Other than, you know, I mean, who's not going to f- like feel good watching a disabled guy get to be Santa Claus? That's not Beautiful. That's a, yeah. But th- yeah, there's nothing that uh this is like a failure to launch. There's no heart in, right. in in any of these, you know. So then it's like, yeah, it just makes Santa seem kind of depressing. Right. We've tried to really work on just making ourselves more familiar with what's going on. And just the whole pronouns issue that for us old guys, it's like, my pronoun? What's the, you know? Did I ever, did I ever tell you that thing about uh, Santa? <laughs> He's real? Uh, when I was a child, I went to my grandparents' house, and they had hired a Santa to show up. You're molested? And it was, I wasn't molested by the Santa, but the Santa showed up, and it was it was like a black Santa, mm-hmm. and I had seen white Santa earlier that day mm-hmm. elsewhere. You were racist? And right? I got confused. No, I was being very nice, but sort of 
to the side to my mom. I was like, all right, so what's going on? <laughs> like, that's why is what's going on here? And my mom told me that Santa had the power to change races. Mm-hmm. That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> that power, that's only a good power to have if you're black. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a power yeah. if you're a mm-hmm. white guy. You know what I mean? No, no, you no. You bought no. it though? I believed it. You're like, well, well that settles no, that. No, if he has the power to go uh, to that many houses. It would be great if Santa was just doing it at the end of <laughs> sentences to drop soft day in words. <laughs> like he was white and he's like, <laughs> He's like, how y'all boop doing? And then, but just boop, just black just for, for the second. word, yeah. just, just for, for a second. Word. Yeah, that would be the coolest X Man. And, and then it's back to business. Yeah. And then it's back to white business. That X Man would be working with Magneto <laughs> for sure. He's a special man. Mm. <laughs>